which of the following amines will give carbyl amine test students for this question we need to know that one degree that is primary aliphatic as well as aromatic when heated with chloroform and ethanolic koh gives a pungent that is foul smelling substance which is carbyl amine or isocyanide on the other hand secondary and tertiary amines will not show such reactions this reaction is known as carbyl amine test or isocyanide test so student among the given options option number 3 is a primary amine that means option number c will give this test and i'm also writing the reaction here r nh2 plus ch cl3 plus 3 koh when heated gives r nc plus 3 kcl plus 3 h2o that means the correct answer is option number c moving to the next question identify compound x in the following sequence of reactions students in this question we are given with the sequence of reactions and we have to identify the final product initially we were given with toluene this one reacts with excess of cl2 in light that is uv light it gives y which on hydrolysis gives x we have to identify the final product x so let's start the options are benzaldehyde benzoic acid phenol or benzoyl chloride so student let's start this reaction first of all we are given with toluene this when reacts with excess of cl2 in light chlorination will takes place ccl3 and this on acidic hydrolysis gives benzoic acid this is y and this is x that means the final product so obtained is benzoic acid or we can say that the correct answer is option number c moving to the next question reaction between methanol and ethanol in the presence of dilute naoh is known as kenizaro's reaction cross kenizaro's reaction cross aldol condensation or aldol condensation student we are given with two compounds one is methanol another is ethanol let's draw the structures methanol is h c double bond o h and ethanol is c h 3 c double bond o h this reacts with dilute oh minus student we can clearly see that one compound has no alpha hydrogen and one compound has alpha hydrogen so these two compounds in the presence of dilute alkali gives cross aldol condensation let's see the reaction first of all i'm taking ch2 h c double bond o h that means i'm taking ethanol when it reacts with oh minus dilute this will attack on this hydrogen and this bond will shift here as a result carbon with a negative sign is obtained now student this will attack on another carbonyl molecule which is methanol so this will attack on the carbonyl carbon and this pi bond will shift towards oxygen as a result the products obtained will be c double bond o h ch2 c o minus h h now student this o minus will abstract a hydrogen from a water molecule and the products obtained will be h c h o h c h 2 c double bond o h and this molecule when heated forms c h 2 double bond c h c double bond o h and the reaction is known as cross aldol condensation that means the correct answer is option number c moving to the next question identify the molecule which does not exist the options are be2 n2 b2 or c2 students for this question first of all we need to know that we have to write the molecular orbital configuration of the given species and then we have to calculate the bond order and the species for which the bond order is zero will not exist so let's start writing the molecular orbital configuration number 1 was be2 so be Two total number of electrons will be eight. So sigma one s two, sigma star one s two, sigma two s two, and sigma star two s two. Let's calculate bond order. Bond order is equal to half number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital 
minus number of electron in anti bonding molecular orbital. So, half 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. So, it is very clear that Be2 does not exist, but let us calculate the bond order of the remaining molecules as well. N2 14 electrons, sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2, sigma 2s2, sigma star 2s2, then we have pi 2p x2, pi 2p y2 and sigma 2p z2. Let us calculate bond order, bond order is equal to half number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital that is equal to 2 plus 4 plus 6, 8 and 10 minus number of electrons in anti bonding molecular orbital that is equal to 2 plus 2, 4 which is equal to 3. Now, let us calculate the bond order of the remaining molecules. One is B2, total number of electrons 10, sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2, sigma 2s2, sigma star 2s2, then we have pi 2px1, pi 2py1. So, let us calculate bond order, bond order is equal to half number of electrons in bonding minus anti bonding. So, number of electrons in bonding will be 6 and that in anti bonding will be 4 by 2 will be 1. Now, let us calculate the bond order of C2. So, C2 12 electrons sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2 pi 2p x2 pi 2 p y 2. Let us calculate bond order. So, bond order is equal to half then number of electrons in bonding minus anti bonding. So, 2, 4, 6 and 8 minus 4 which is equal to 2. That means, among the given options the only molecule for which the bond order is 0 that is B e 2. So, among the given options B e 2 will not exist or we can say that the correct answer for this question is option number A. So, moving to the next question, an alkene on ozonolysis gives methanol as one of the product, its structure is. So, students in this question we are given with 4 alkenes and we have to identify that alkene which on ozonolysis gives methanol and for that first of all we have to draw the structure of methanol and then we will be able to find out the alkene. So, methanol is H C double bond O H that means the alkene which has this group will give methanol on ozonolysis. So, among the given options the only alkene is this which has this group. So, let us write down the reaction. So, the alkene is this double bond C H this on reaction with O 3 ozonide will be formed which is C H H this is ozonide this on reaction with zinc and water these bonds will break and we get acetone and methanol as products. Students let us find out the products obtained during ozonolysis of the remaining alkenes. So, number 1 we were given with this. this on ozonolysis students I am directly writing the products this on ozonolysis gives two molecules of acetone since this bond will break moving to another alkene which is CH3 CH double bond CH CH3 this on ozonolysis gives two molecules of acetaldehyde since this bond will break and the last alkene which is CH3 C CH3 double bond CH CH3 this on ozonolysis that is on reaction with O3 followed by zinc and water this bond will break will give acetone that is CH3 CO CH3 and apart from acetone acetaldehyde will also be obtained. That means, the only alkene which give methanol as one of the product is given in option number C. Moving to the next question, 